Hi guys, it's me the Big B and welcome back to another video and another session using the Soul Seeker UK app that I made. Um, I've been getting this again yesterday, some amazing videos were put up on my Facebook uh, channel that I made, Facebook page, sorry, that I made for the app. And some of the replies coming out of that were amazing and someone sort of sent us a private message after they did that session and I just wanted to kind of clear a few things up. They asked basically are you, are you sure there's no words in, in this audio because this is crazy and that video that this person did, that Barbara did, she was getting absolutely crystal clear replies that were personal to the people that were there naming people, naming things that were happening, it was just very personal information to them and obviously she said, are you sure? We're getting a lot of hellos, highs, helps and as well as all this other information and I'll say to you guys what I said to her. There is no, there is no highs, hellos, helps, nothing. There is no words in the audio. When the audio was created, even before it was reversed, I made sure I would listen through from end to end, just in case anything, could, you know, think. And there was, no, there's nothing. There is no words. I went through dozens of times, and that was before it, it was reversed. It's complete gibberish and then it's reversed there is no there are no words and a lot of people are getting very personal messages very personal information everyone is different and I did explain when I, I did a session I captured the the tablet screen rather than just pointing the camera I captured it this time like I've done before and I do ramble on at the beginning a bit saying this very similar thing um, which I'll, I'll probably edit out because I'm, I'm kind of saying it now at the point is putting it in again but that's where it is, guys. I've put the, when I put this out for testing, there were people who turned it on, it's complete gibberish, they got nothing. And then there are people that turn it on and they're getting some of the best evidence they've ever captured. And that's the thing. Like I explained in one of my other videos, there has to be spirit around you who want to communicate. They have to be around you in the first place and then they have to want to communicate through this. You know, it's not just random stuff that's coming out. It's very personal to each person who's been testing it. Don't even say my name when I've been using the app. It's said their names, their spirit guides' names, people who are present while they're doing the sessions, and even doubt the situation that's happening within the private lives. And it's coming through as different voices. These hellos and these highs people get the different voices, different tones, different, different dialects. And I got a few when I was testing here. Clear hello. And it's the way they say it. Some of them are like, so surprised that you know, my God, so, so I can I can talk that someone can hear me, and it's such surprise and excitement in the voice. So when you guys are using this app, you know, and some of you, so some people will be skeptical, and it's what I said about Echovox and a lot of others that, that I believe in wholeheartedly and I trust one hundred percent for that information for every person who's getting personal information. I would have had to have programmed in and known everything about every person that's using it and will ever use it in the future, every situation that they've been in, are in, and shall be in, and everything about each family member the same, and every family member that's passed and their histories. You know, it's impossible. I mean, the app wouldn't just be like the size it is. It'd be like so big it wouldn't fit on the fucking internet. You know, you'd have to put that much information in for thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, my, my, my god, it's incredible. So guys, there are, there are no words in there, there is no information in there, it is as basic, that's the whole reason that this was made how it is. Keep it as simple as possible. Two audio banks, one complaining, complaining, one containing human sounds, human tones, human frequencies, male, female, young and old, to cover a wide range of frequencies and tones. Com speaking complete gibberish, they don't speak any language. It's not English, it's not French, it's not fucking German, it's nothing. It's gibberish, and then it's reversed. And it's made to be like that for a very specific reason, because I just wanted to take out any chance of any human word being able to be in there because again like I said some of the app apps they use say 
someone speaking a phrase out of a book and then they chop that up but it's still chopped up and it, then it's chopped out at random but it's still forward words. EVR uh, from Danny Bigby was the first one to then reverse all that to make, make it gibberish and that works slightly different to this but it's the same principle. Once you reverse it there is no chance of any forward words. Even by accident someone put in the comments yesterday on the other video you know what are the chances of a ran the, the sounds being just jumbled together at random to spit out a word I said well at random to get one word out of complete gibberish that then is backwards billions to one I mean it could yes it can happen it can happen one word you might be lucky you might think oh I think I think I heard that but there's entire sentences coming out this thing with relevant information to each session and to who's there and who's doing said session I mean that is physically impossible just like it's physically impossible for me to put all that information in about every person that will ever use it I mean hell I'd have to be majorly psychic myself to be able to know who's going to use it in the future and think ah, I better put that information in for them and you, you know how what I'm talking about it's simple it's straight to the point there's no nothing fancy about it actually as it is it's just understanding what spirit need to try and communicate they need it's more to do with the tones the frequencies uh, rather than actually giving them words to actually then just stitch together themselves they are using all them frequencies and I think that's what's kind of like happened here I've just hit on that sweet spot I've hit on the like what they call the golden nugget I've, I've hit a sweet spot where I've hit the, the, the right frequencies the right tones to give them a right mix to give them what they need and all of a sudden boom I'll pour these voices and it's just it's blown me away it's actually blown me away what you guys are actually doing with this and that's awesome as well you're not you know you're taking it out there you're using it and again share it it's evidence it's it's shown that there is direct communication with something uh, you're communicating again as, as a paranormal investigator we don't know what we don't know what we're communicating with we're not saying it's definitely spirit we think we, we, we're still working on, on that and anyone that says oh we know for definite we don't we're communicating with something that's intelligent that it seems to be you know people from from the past that's passed away and family members has passed away which is awesome and yeah that, it, that's what we seem to be communicating with but you guys using this app and many others I'm not just saying this one are capturing some amazing evidence get it out there share it you know you, you know they, you're talking it's it's just mind-boggling even over the last week that people have been posting with this what these entities these spirits whatever they may be that they know that they're able to now articulate across and tell us it's becoming like really really interesting we're coming into an interesting time with ITC and the, these apps and other sort of hardware we're getting some incredible replies and incredible responses and we've gone in a short space of time from getting single word answers yeses and noes to entire sentences I mean I've sat and I'm, I've been doing sessions with this and then like you say you listen, listen and there's an entire friggin sentence comes out at you that makes sense it's not just random words that's popping out it's someone talking to you and they're giving you information and these sentences these things are just getting longer and longer and more complex and it's mind blown guys so without any further ado we're going to jump into it jump into the session let's see what we get I know I got something I know I heard voices in there but again I'm going to go through it and let's see what they had to say today guys John, I'm leaving it at the, the, the standard 250 millisecond sweep rate that's kind of where I like it and we're just going to go for it scanner so, activated hello I think that was a hi -er. and that's another thing when people they can sit for five minutes and not get anything and then they say hello and they get a response back um, let's just give it a bit more volume hello who's with me hello I can hear you hello that was a clear hello <laughs> That's what I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I've had people turn this on and get absolutely nothing. That's the thing, guys. Some people are not getting anything. Like what I said, there has to be a spirit there, and there has to be spirit that want to communicate. And when there is, 
They do. But other people who are using it, they get nothing. This is nothing there that wants to communicate, which shows that there's nothing random going on. It's, it's, it, there's nothing in here. There's no words. Sorry for ranting, guys. Hello, I heard you. Who's with me today? Can you hear my voice? Can you hear me? Can you tell me your name? How many, how many spirits are with me? Now I asked a question the other day from you guys, and that was awesome. You gave us a reply, but I just want to ask again. I just want to ask about exactly what entities are around me. Specifically, these darker shadows, these darker entities. Just give me some more information on these things. Hello. Is there anyone that just has a message? If you can't answer me question. We just got a message you'd like to give? I heard some I heard somebody say about a message there. I heard that. What message do you have? Can you give me your name? My name is Brian. Can you say my name? Just let me know you can hear me. <laughs> Hello. That was a clear one. Hello. I like the way you say hello because it's, the hello is never the same as hello is high, but it's almost like said with surprise. Like, my God, someone can hear me. Hello. And it's never the same voice, that's the thing, it's always different accents, different ears. <laughs> Who just said hello? Hello? What's this? 
Okay, that's another hello. Totally different voice. Hello. Hello. What can I do to help? Someone said yesterday when I was doing a session that just talking helps. Is that true? Please help us. Is that? Does it help just to be able to talk like this? It seems very easy for you to communicate this way. How do you guys kind of know that when we're trying to communicate, like, just, just hear us? Do you know? Do you, what do you see when we turn these things on? How would you perceive it? How would you see it from your side? So many layers of voices, that's the crazy thing. And here, yeah. How many of you are aware and can hear what's going on right now? How many are trying to communicate through this device right now? We want to turn this off very soon. I'd like to thank anyone that's given a message, tried to communicate. It's always so cool when you guys get a message through. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to ask you to step back. I'll talk to you very soon, I promise. Bye, guys. Talk soon.